As discussed in the previous module, DES is considered broken with brute force implementations that can find a key in hours. Given the potential vulnerability of DES to brute force attack, there has been considerable interest in finding an alternative. One approach is to, to design a completely new algorithm, of which AES is a prime example and will be discussed later in this module. Another alternative, which would preserve the existing investment in software and, equip and equipment, is to use multiple encryption with DES with multiple keys. We examine the widely accepted triple DES or 3DES approach. Triple DES or 3DES enables the increase in key size without needing to design an entirely new algorithm. To make brute force attack infeasible, we need to increase the key length so that the attacker's effort grows exponentially with the key length. For the multiple encryption approach, the simplest form of multiple encryption has two encryption stages and two keys, and is called double DES. In double DES, for the encryption, two DES encryption ciphers are sequentially applied, where the key K1 is used first and then the key K2 is used for the following DES cipher. To reverse the encryption, double DES decryption uses key K2 first and then the key K1 after. This can also be expressed in math as is shown, and in the mathematical expression, those that are inside the parenthesis are computed or processed first. The use of two independent keys, K sub 1 and K sub 2, K1 and K2, are 112 bits long, twice as long as a single key, and can provide 112 bits of entropy for the ciphertext. So, the computational effort of a brute force attacker who only analyzes the double DES input and the output, PNC, its Attack, its effort will grow by O of 2 to the 112. However, the attacker can significantly reduce its complexity by conducting meet-in-the-middle attack. Such meet-in-the-middle attack can apply to any block encryption ciphers which are sequentially processed. Instead of focusing only on the input and the output of the entire chain of cipher components, the meet-in-the-middle attack also stores and computes the transitional value between the cipher components. We call that value x here. Let's explain meet-in-the-middle with a diagram. Here is a double encryption. For example, if the encryption function is DES, then this is a double DES. In double DES, the plain text goes through the first DES encryption function with a key of K1, and then the output of that DS encryption gets input to another DS encryption using the key K2. The meet in the middle attacker knows that there is an intermediate value, in this case x, which are in between the two DES functions, DES functions. Given a known plaintext or a pair of P and C that is known to the attacker, the attacker first takes the known plaintext P and computes the first DES function with a key of K1. The attacker varies the key K1, which value it does not know, and stores all of the 2 to the 56 possible pair of values K1 and X. The attacker then takes the ciphertext C and computes in the backward direction to compute X. That is, it will compute the decryption of C to compute X. Whenever the attacker computes the DES decryption from C, it compares the, the result with the X values that it computed and stored from using P and the encryption computations in the forward direction. When there's a match for X, it has a candidate, K1 and K2, which it can then use to try another known plaintext ciphertext pair of P, P, P and C. There can be false alarms, but the false alarm rate grows exponentially with the number of known plaintext ciphertext pairs, limiting the number of known plaintext that, that is required for the attacker. If it were the correct key pair, 
of k1, k2, then it will always yield the correct PC regardless of the plain text P that the attacker tries. This reduces the attacker effort to O of 2 to the 56, because now the attacker can compute the DES separately. More specifically, the attacker will need to compute all the 2 to the 56 computations for the first DES cipher from P, and then half of the 2 to the 56, or 2 to the 55, decryption computations for the second DES cipher from C, on average. That is, on average, the computational effort will be 2 to the 56 plus 2 to the 50, 55, which is O of 2 to the 56. This complexity of O of 2 to the 56 is significantly less than O of 2 to the 112. Taking the ratio between the two, the difference is more than 10 to the 21st power. On the other hand, comparing it with D, yes, it only increases the complexity by one exponent with base 2. Therefore, double DES, which is the naive way of using multiple DES ciphers with different keys, is not secure enough. Because the meet in the middle attack exploits the vulnerability of double, double encryption approaches, which effectively lowers the, the attack complexity to find the key. Meet in the middle attack can be used against any double encryption approach regardless of the cipher algorithm that was applied twice.